Now today, I want to talk about some lazy, worthless, good-for-nothing people who write on the internet about wrestling and think they know about wrestling, but they don't. These people probably have a face for radio. And that's probably why they hide on the internet with their buddies trying to talk about wrestling when they know nothing about it. Who I am talking about is the IWC, or the Internet Wrestling Community. The IWC thinks they know what makes a star. They think they know who will be world champion. They think with their head up their ass the whole time that they know what's best for wrestling. They know nothing. Nothing at all. These people have been wrong so many times on who's going to be a star. They picked Ken Shamrock. They picked Owen Hart. They picked so many people They said, these guys are going to be world champions. And we're never world champions because they never had it. That it's not even funny anymore. They argue back and forth about who's the best, Ric Flair or Bret Hart. Well, neither. Bret Hart couldn't talk worth a damn. And Ric Flair did the same match and the same promo for 20 years. These people try to pick future champions. They pick Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose doesn't have the body, he doesn't have the mic skills, and he doesn't have the work in the ring to be a champion in this modern age. This isn't the 70s anymore, people. You can't just go out and say, I'm the going to be world champion, look at me. I'm a great wrestler. No. If every great wrestler was made world champion, Dean Malenko would be a 15-time world champion by now. He's not. Because he never had it. He was bland. He was boring. He couldn't talk. And his matches were mostly the same. They've also picked Davey Richards and Eddie Edwards as future world champions. These two are as bland and interchangeable as bland and interchangeable things can be. Literally. You could put them in a lineup with a bunch of other wrestlers and no one would say, oh, that guy's going to be a star. No. Now, if you put Kevin Steen from Ring of Honor in that lineup, they'd say, that guy's different. They wouldn't even say that about David Richards and Eddie Edwards. Neither can talk. Both are decent wrestlers, but rely too much on high spots. And both are just bland and ordinary looking. They're never going to be anything. Never, ever, ever. Except on the indie scene, or maybe in TNA. Then again, these people praise the WWF up and down every day about how great it is. When anyone who's watched the WWF knows it's not great anymore. They don't, WWF doesn't even have the talent of TNA. TNA is the more talented. Then again, these were the same people who said CM Punk was the greatest heel since sliced bread. And let's face facts. The only reason CM Punk was a heel, the only thing that made CM Punk a decent heel was you wanted to punch him in the face. You didn't want to watch him wrestle. You wanted him to get off the TV because he was boring. John Cena is the greatest heel the WWF has right now. Because at least the people who boo him want to see him wrestle. If they're booing you and they don't want to see you wrestle, that's what we call a bad heel. That's not a good bad guy. They should boo you and want to see you wrestle. Bobby Roode was one of the best heels in 10 years. Because you booed him, yet you wanted to see him wrestle. That's what always made Hulk Hogan a great heel. They don't realize this. They think getting booed makes you a great heel. No. Getting booed and the people still wanting to see you makes you a great heel. Getting booed and the people wanting to run you over with a car makes you a bad heel. 
like I said, these people are completely ignorant on future champions. They said Hulk Hogan was one of the worst wrestlers ever. True, the guy was not a great technician in the ring. But the guy was probably the biggest star in wrestling history. Him and Stone Cold are right up there fighting for the number one spot of who was greater. I go with Hulk Hogan because he did it first. And he made the national scene. They hate Hulk Hogan. And then again, they've also picked Kofi Kingston five years ago as future world champion. And let's face facts. The closest Kofi Kingston's ever going to get to a world title is if they let him carry it. If they let him deliver it from Triple H to whoever the champion is. Kofi Kingston doesn't have it. Kofi Kingston never had it. Kofi Kingston will never have it. And he will always be a mid-carder. Wade Barrett's another one, they say, will be future world champion. Wade Barrett's been given a chance to get in the main event three times. When he was leader of the Nexus, when he was leader of the core, and when he came back from the injury earlier this year. All three times he was pushed to the moon and given the opportunity to get in the main event. All three times he dropped the ball. He doesn't have it. He will never have it. And I'm sorry, but if you want to go kiss Barrett's ass, go ahead. But you got to realize, if you're given a chance three times and you fail, you're not going to be anything. As I said, these people are useless. And if you disagree, they hate you. They're going to hate me. If they watch this video, they're going to hate me. I'm going to get all sorts of negative comments. I don't give a crap because I know you don't know a damn thing about wrestling. So that's all for this time. Just wanted to yell at them for a few minutes.